Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I finally have another episode of my Confessions of a Skincare Order series. I just checked my YouTube channel and apparently the last time I posted one of these videos was basically like a year almost to the day. So it's fitting that I thought of filming this video today. Um, and I did re-watch that video because I was like, what am I even doing with this series? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm kind of making it up as I go, as usual. But um, I had said in that video that I would film an update every time I had five empties. And I actually have ten empties to share with you today. You would have already seen them in... Wait, ha would you have? Actually, I think they're in this bag. I have a bag here of all kinds of like deluxe size. I have a full size product. Anyway, it's all skincare, obviously. And I have some foil samples and some updates to some products I mentioned in that video. And yeah, I think that's just what we're going to do today. And I also want to film a skincare inventory. I think that will be like the next episode of this series. I think it will be interesting because in the first episode of this series, I didn't actually count how many products I had in each. Did I? I can't remember now. Did I count how many products I had in each category? I don't know. I think I just showed them to you. But anyway, I think it's time to do another skincare inventory because I have been really good about using up my skincare and not buying any... I don't think I've bought any skincare. I just keep getting products from BoxyCharm <laughs> and I'm subscribed to Boxy Lux, which normally has a lot of skincare in it. And I'm actually going to get my Boxy Lux this month. So you won't even see those products but yeah this is just helping me use up what I have and talk about how I felt about some of the products because I mentioned in the intro or at least in the last video that um, the whole purpose of this series is to actually take note of what I'm using because I find with skincare like I'm trying a lot of different things and then I don't even remember if I liked it or not by the time like I get around to it. So yeah, I've been keeping a spreadsheet. That's why I keep looking over here because I'm looking at my computer. I think I'll need my glasses for this one because I have notes taken down. So oh, my glasses are filthy. Um, yeah, so I, like I said, I'm tracking my empties and the things that I'm using. And I guess after that, I'll show you my current skincare routine and give you some updates on that. So, yes. Um, the first thing, well, let's start with the empties. Actually, let's just get the foil samples out of the way because I really don't have much to say about these. I don't even remember a lot about them because I've been keeping them like basically since last year so the first one I have here is from Ren this is the keep young and beautiful instant firming beauty shot I don't remember anything about this foil skincare samples like don't mean much to me because you can only use them like once or twice depending on what they are and I don't feel like that's enough to really know if a product is well what it's even doing and if you like it or not. So anyway, this next one is from Drunk Elephant. This is the Proteiny Power Peptide Resurf Serum. Um, it's a 10% lactic acid. This one I feel like I did really like though. Did I, I didn't write anything about this because it's just a foil sample. But I, I think this is on my Sephora loves list. So I must have liked it. Um, I also have a Tarte uh, Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. I actually got this in the full size. Um, I guess because from this sample. 
here I am saying you can't really tell anything about foil samples and I actually bought the full size of this. Uh, yeah, I bought this because it was 50% off on Sephora and it was a really good deal. So I did buy a new skincare product, I guess. But yeah, I, I go through moisturizer frequently because I have really dry skin. So I'm not too concerned about that. Um, this one is from Skin Iceland. This is the Pure Cloud Cream. I don't remember anything about that. But I remember um, Jamie Genevieve used to use this product a lot, if I remember correctly. And that's why I was interested in trying it. I also have a Biosauce Squalene and Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. Don't remember anything about that. I know I have the like toner from that line on my Sephora Loves list, so I don't know. It's something that intrigues me, I guess. I have a Glam Glow Good in Bed. What is this? Passion Fruit Softening Night Cream. I don't know. I don't really have any interest in buying Glam Glow products for some reason. I feel like they were really hyped up when I first started started watching YouTube and then like no one talked about them since so I guess they're not that good. <laughs> this was the Banana Souffle Moisture Cream, I believe from Glow Recipe, right? I think, whoops, I think I ended up really liking this and then I went to look for it. Yes, I'm remembering now. I went to look for it and it was nowhere to be found and then because I follow Glow Recipe on Twitter um, they were they kept like replying to people asking what happened to this cream because it's like everyone's favorite and they said they discontinued it so and they were saying like oh yeah it's been discontinued but try the plum plump one so I guess they replaced that one with the plum Plump, which is hard to say. I don't know. That's, I think that's what happened. Um, this one is from Corez. It's the Velvet Skin Drink. This was like um, a serum, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember anything about it. And then I have some eye patches. I'm trying to get through my eye patch collection because I have a lot of them for some reason. This one is the Sephora Cucumber Eye Mask. I don't feel like this really did much. Um, it just says it's for soothing and depuffing. I don't know. I'd have to use it again to really see what it does. I feel like I wasn't really paying attention <laughs> the last time I used it. And then I have three Ahava Dead Sea Osmoter Eye Masks. I got a like a a pack of these I think a pack of five five or six from boxycharm I still have two so I don't know if I was keeping all of the ones I used but yeah um these remind me of the Peter Thomas Roth gold ones because they do have that kind of like gold shimmer to them but I think I like the Peter Thomas Roth ones better. Yes, I know I do. Because I feel like those ones, you can tell right away that they do something. They really do firm like your under eye and make it look very smooth. Um, these ones are nice, but they don't have that same kind of immediate effect. So I wouldn't like go out and try and repurchase these. I don't even know where I can get a Hava. Is it at Sephora Canada? I'm not sure. Anyway, that was those. I did like the shape of them and the fact that they don't slip down your face. I like that. Um, that was all the foil samples. So for the empties, the first one I have is the Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster. I mentioned in my last video um, I was mixing three drops of this into my face cream and I thought that I liked it and yeah, I mean, I don't, 
I still don't think I know what this did. Uh, it's a watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. I don't know. I used it up, but I don't really think I needed it. I just used it because I had it. So that's finished. And that was valued at $35 US. I don't, I couldn't find Clean Skin Club um, in Canadian price. So I don't even know where I could get this, but yeah. $35 US That's finished the next one is the Amore Pacific The essential cream fluid in my last video I finished this a long time ago in my last video I even said like I only had one or two uses to go and that I added this to my Sephora loves list which I did because I really liked this it's like a a serum but it's a milky serum and it honestly feels like you could put this on and not need to put cream on it's that hydrating um, but I don't think this uh, I don't know if it's the brand or just this product that is not available in Canada anymore so I just recently took it off my loves list because it had that message like cannot ship to Canada so and besides that this product in the full size is $129 <laughs> so I would have only purchased it if it went on sale or something anyway but anyway apparently I can't get it either way and this little sample was valued at $6.88 that might have cut out really strangely Josh brought me um, some lunch and I had a bite of it so anyway what was I saying Yes, this little sample was six eighty eight. Next MT is my Ula Henriksen Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. This is another product I think they either discontinued or reformulated or something because I couldn't find it um, on the Sephora site. But what did I say about this? This, I said, yeah, seems to be discontinued. It was only available in a set at Sephora. But anyway, I wouldn't repurchase it because I think it irritated my skin a little. Because every time I put this on, I felt like my skin was a little itchy. But I also know that this was like super old, even last year. So, I don't know, maybe it was expired. But this was a value of eleven dollars and 33 cents oh and now i'm saying prices in canadian uh it's just that for this one there was no canadian price but the rest will be in canadian um then from first aid beauty i had the ultra repair hydrating serum yes this little guy um i think i got this as a point perk at sephora this says it's supposed to replenish, smooth, and soften. Um, I said it was a thick gel texture. I was expecting more serum -y and I wouldn't repurchase it. Yeah, this is called a serum, but I don't feel like it was like a traditional liquidy serum and that I don't feel like it hydrated enough, so I wouldn't buy this in the full size. But this one was a value of $7.50. Uh, from Kate Somerville, I had the Wrinkle Warrior 2-in-1 Plumping Moisturizer and Serum. This one here. This was... Uh, this is $19.50, this little sample, which has 0.25 fluid ounces in it. I said this I was using as a serum as I didn't think it would be hydrating enough on its own. Yeah. And I said the full size is $130! Exclamation point. I didn't see enough difference to consider repurchasing. From Milk Makeup, I had the Vegan Milk Moisturizer. This was a tiny sample like this. This was in my travel bag. And I said that it was a very thick moisturizer, but somehow it still wasn't hydrating enough. 
Um, and the, this little guy is $12.50. Yeah, so I wouldn't repurchase that either. Just for reference, my favorite moisturizer for my dry skin is the Belief Moisture Balm. Um, so just to com I compare everything to that because still to this day, even after I've tried all of this stuff, that is my favorite moisturizer. Um, yeah, so something to wow me has to be just as moisturizing as that one, if not more because I really need the moisture <laughs> for my dry skin. Um, from Sunday, Riley had the CEO Vitamin C Brightening. <sighs> this stuff is so dusty, it's been in here forever. What is this? Sunday, Riley CEO Vitamin C Brightening Rich Hydration Moisturizer. Um, I said this was very thick and moisturizing. It made my skin glowy. I liked it a lot, but but probably wouldn't pay full price, which is eighty six dollars. Oh, and then I had an update. <laughs> Apparently, I said actually I think this was a little irritating on my skin, but it may have just not worked well with the Kate Somerville because I was using this as a serum and this as a cream on top. So it might have been that. But also, this is a vitamin C product. And I think my skin likes vitamin C, but I notice that if I stop using vitamin C for a while and then I go back to it, it feels like it irritates my skin for like a day or two and then it goes back to normal. So I don't know if that's normal, <laughs> um, but that's what happens when I use vitamin C products. But generally, they end up working really well for me but yeah anyway like I said I wouldn't pay full price for this this little sample was worth $13.76 from youth to the people I had this super food air whip moisturizer with hyaluronic acid okay I think that's the new name of this product um, but this one says it's the kale and spinach green tea with hyaluronic acid and I really loved this. I even wrote, loved this. I added it to my Sephora loves list, but that's when I didn't, like I couldn't find the exact name. So I don't know if they reformulated this or just changed the name. I hope it wasn't reformulated because I really liked it. This sample was worth $15.75. I have noticed that Youth to the People does go on sale quite often, so I wouldn't pay full price for the full size, but I would probably buy this if it was on sale and if I needed a new moisturizer because I really like th this one. Um, from Fresh, I had the Rose and Hyaluronic Acid Deep Hydration Moisturizer. This little one here. This, um, I said I liked it, but it wasn't anything special. I don't really care for the rose scent in my face cream. I do like rose scented things, but in a face cream, it's just a little much. And I guess it was strong. It doesn't really smell like anything anymore. Um, but this little sample was worth $8.26. And the last empty... I have is the Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Thermal Water. This one was in a tube. This one here. I said I like this a lot, but it seems to be discontinued. Um, I haven't checked that since writing that note, which was probably last year at some point. So I don't know if that's still true or if they just reformulated or something. But I did really like it, but I guess I can't get it anymore. And I don't know how much this is worth because I couldn't even find the product online, I guess. So I just wrote N.A. <laughs> but I finished another um, moisturizer deluxe sample. Um, so yeah, that was everything. For some reason, there are other empties in this bag. I guess I talked about them already in a different video. I don't know because there are five more empties in here but anyway so I think that's pretty good 
And actually, for my foil samples, I don't have any more serums um, and something else. I don't know, but for sure I don't have any more serum foil packs. I don't think I have any more deluxe size either. I don't know. So this is really helping me use up a lot of my little things that are just lying around. I do have like a, a bag of travel size things, but I don't count that because anytime I travel or even just go like, you know, for a night somewhere, I put things in my travel bag so I don't really want to use those products up on a regular day because I need to keep the small sizes you know especially if you go on a plane you need a hundred milliliters or less so I don't count those products but I do have more <laughs> of those items too so that was everything for my empties and I do have three products that I'm still working on well technically. So to give you an update um, on these Garnier Green Labs products, I mentioned I was using these in my last video. They were part of my regular skincare routine, but I since put them back because I was using them to write a review for Influencer because I got these from Influencer um, complimentary in exchange for a review. And I ended up really loving these. I'm pretty sure I gave them both five stars. So the first one is the cream cleanser. Well, specifically the ultra soothing cream cleanser with amino berry. And this line is for dry skin and sensitive skin. So yes, that is me. And yeah, I used this much of it. Um, but I felt that was enough to know that I really liked it. And I said it's a gel cream texture. It doesn't foam. So if you're someone who only uses foaming cleansers, you probably won't like this. But then again, you're probably not someone with dry skin. <laughs> so you probably wouldn't buy this anyway. Um, but I said, um, yeah, I received it from Influencer for review. It was very soothing and it doesn't leave my skin feeling tight, which I like. And this product, the full size, well, at the time that I wrote this, maybe it went up since, but it was $13.99, which I felt was a really good price for a big cleanser like this. Um, and the other product is the Smoothing Serum Cream with Retinol. This product really impressed me, especially um, since it's like a three-in-one product and it actually did work for all three steps. Sometimes products say like you can use them for this and this like for makeup when they say you can use it as a blush and a lipstick but it never works <laughs> like it never works it's best in both scenarios but this one i felt that it was good for all so it says on the back that it's a night cream an eye cream and wait i can't read this with my glasses on it's a serum, a night cream, and an eye cream all in one. So, yes. And i that's how I used it. It replaced three products. So, it even it made my skincare routine quicker. So, I really like this product. But it went back because I have older retinol-based products to use before I start using up that one. And then... Um, I don't know if I made this a rule or not, but I think going forward, I'll have a little rule for this project or series, whatever I'm calling it, is that I should always be working on a face mask because I have way too many face masks for someone that doesn't use face masks regularly. Um, and I mean specifically like um, ones like this, like in a tube or a jar, not sheet masks. So I did put a goal on this. I have a goal on all of these. I have a column in my spreadsheet um, where I track my goal. And for all like the small things, it's always just to use it up. But for the masks, it's to use 10 times. And this one I've used seven of 10 times. I only have 
three more uses to go but i think if i use this three more times on well when i use this i don't put it all over the face i didn't even say what this is it's the fresh <laughs> umbrian clay purifying mask for deeply cleansing and purifying um, I don't use it all over my face because, like I said, I have dry skin. I like to use this, like, in this area. Like, wherever my pores need to be purified is where I put this. But when I do use it, like, on my whole T-zone, I feel like I use quite a lot of it. So I think if I use this ten times, I would actually just finish it because that's all I have left. So I think my I'm going to change the goal to just use this up. Um, this is a, I guess a mini size of the full size of this product. You can buy it in this format, um, at Sephora. It's $33 and I would recommend getting it in this format unless you plan on using it, like, often. Then it's obviously a better value to get the full size. But I like this format because it's in a tube so I don't have to have, like, a jar you know, and it gets messy and you dip your fingers in it if you use your fingers. I actually use this with like a mask applicator, um, which I like from e.l.f. Um, but yeah, I said I really like this. I think it actually works on breakouts and it can be used as a spot treatment and it doesn't dry out my skin. So I, this is what I said in my last video too. If you have dry skin, but you still want a clay mask to like help with, you know, cleansing pores and everything, this would be a good one to get because it didn't leave my skin like tight or like super dry or anything. So I actually really like this. And I think I'm gonna try and just use it up and get a mask out of my collection. So that was everything for my updates and my empties. Um, I'll tell you now what I'm using in my current routine. Yeah, so I'll get those products and I'll be back. Okay, so for my current routine, um, I'll start with the daytime stuff. So the cleanser I'm using right now is the Aveda Tourmaline Charged Exfoliating Cleanser. This is, I think, my all-time favorite cleanser. And I've been through like four or five of these. I used to work at Veda, if you didn't know. Um, I really love this. I probably shouldn't be using an exfoliator every day as like my daily cleanser, but it doesn't like seem to be doing anything bad and I really like it. And this one is not like very abrasive so i think it's fine <laughs> it just says on the back to avoid eye area yeah and the exfoliating bees are jojoba so it's not like plastic or like crushed walnuts or anything like that that could be very irritating for the skin so yeah i really like this one i'm really glad i still had one of these i found this <laughs> it's probably ancient um, I found it in like the box of stuff I brought from my condo, so this definitely needs to get used up. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's my favorite cleanser, so I'm happy to have this in my routine. Then for my toner, I actually just pulled this one out yesterday, I think. This is the Sweet Chef Ginger Kombucha and Vitamin D chill mist i got this from boxy charm and i love this i love the spray on this it's very fine i think sweet chef is a sister brand of glow recipe it's very kind of like the same vibes but i think it's more affordable and i'm pretty sure i saw this brand um being sold at target so yeah it's kind of like I guess a drugstore version of Glow Recipe, but yeah, I really like this. I feel like it does really soothe the skin. It says on it that it hydrates, soothes, and cools, so yeah, really liking this one so far. For my eye cream, I'm trying to use up the Tula Skin Care Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening Eye Balm. I mentioned in, I think, my empties video that I don't feel like 
these Tula products ever do anything, but I have them. I keep getting them in BoxyCharm, so I'm trying to use them up. That's how much I've used so far. I think it was like flush with the top when I first got it. Um, yeah, so how I use it is I just roll it up and I do a circle around each eye. I guess I do two circles actually. And yeah, I don't know if this does anything <laughs> to be honest. Um, my eyes don't, my under eyes don't get dry like my skin does. So yeah, my only concern with my under eyes is like redness and sometimes puffiness. But for that, I find like that's what I use eye patches for. So I don't know. I'm not seeing a big difference with this, but I'll try and use it up. There is still a ton of product in here. I'll try and show you. Yeah, that's how much is still left. So it's probably gonna take me the rest of the year at least. But yeah, we'll see. For my serum, I'm using the Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. Um, I really like this actually. I feel like it does really smooth my skin um, because it has pineapple in it, which I'm assuming means it has the pineapple enzymes, which kind of like break down dryness and like flaky skin, I guess. Um, but I don't really know anything about this because there's nothing written on the bottle other than the name of the product. I will say I think my dropper is um, broken so I have to be careful with it. Um, but I'm almost done with this. I thought when I first started using this that the product went all the way down but it actually stops here. So I only have like this much product left but that's good because this is very old. So um, yeah, I'm just trying to use it up but I do really like this. I don't think I'd repurchase it because I have other serums to use, but yeah, I don't know, maybe in the future. And then another product I got in a boxy charm. this is the Vitamin C Intensive Face Cream from Kat Berkey. I don't know anything about that brand. It's probably a brand you can get in the States easily, but I don't know because I'm in Canada. Uh, but this cream, I'm almost done with it actually, that's all I have left. This is the thickest moisturizer I've ever used. It is so thick that it honestly like goes on white and you really have to like massage it into the skin. But I do really like it um, because I have dry skin and it does have vitamin C but I imagine it can't be that concentrated because usually a vitamin C product is supposed to be in like a dark bottle or like a bottle that you can't get the sun through because it affects like the longevity of the vitamin C but this is in a clear jar so it is a frosted glass but still like you can see the product inside so I don't know um, but this is another one like I was saying before when I don't use it for a while and I only know this because I just went on vacation and I didn't bring this with me because it's like big and bulky. And when I came back and used this, my skin got like very itchy. So I think it's the vitamin C because this is not an old, well, it's old probably in most people's terms, but it's not like the oldest product in my skincare collection. So it shouldn't be expired or anything, but yeah. I do really like this. I don't think I'd repurchase it. I feel like it's probably one of those things that is the price is like extremely high. It reminds me of like a cream you would get at like a spa. You know when you go like for a, I don't know, a pedicure or something and they have like jars of like this, these brands you've never heard of and the prices are like $300, 400 that's probably what this is, but I could be wrong. I'll probably find out while I'm editing it and trying to link it and then I'll find like it's being sold at Ulta or something. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, liking this, um, but I should be done with it probably this month. Let me see again. 
if not by middle of next month. So that was the morning routine. Oh, and also my SPF. I didn't bring that out for some reason, but my SPF is the Super Goop Glow Screen and I really love it. Um, I'm probably gonna buy the full size because I just bought the travel size to see if I liked it and I did, so I might get the full size in the next Sephora VIB sale. Because I don't think I have any more sunscreens, face sunscreen. Yeah, that was the last one. So, yeah. Uh, then for nighttime, so to take off my makeup when I am wearing makeup. I've been using the Ula Henriksen Wonder Feel Double Cleanser. I think this is a mini of the regular size because there's only... Well, is it? I don't know. Yeah, because there's only 60 milliliters of cleanser in here. I think I only have one more use of this, so I have a backup cleanser <laughs> that I'm keeping next to it. Because probably tonight I, I will actually finish this, and then I only have like two more uses on this travel size of the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Um, this was actually in my travel bag, but I have two backups of this so when I went on vacation I brought the other full-size one because like I said there's only like one or two uses of this so it wasn't gonna last me my whole vacation so these two will be done and then I have to go back to another cleanser and I think I'm gonna use my La Roche-Posay um, makeup remover it's like a, a cream cleanser um, because that one's old and already open. So yeah, these will be empties very soon. Um, my nighttime toner is this Corez Pore Refining Toner. I don't know if this is doing anything. It's very old. I'm almost done, well, not really because um, I use this with my Shiseido facial cottons. And it's just like one of these where you pour it out. So I don't use it much at a time. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to use this up because it's very old. And I bought it during a BoxyCharm like, pop-up sale many years ago now. <laughs> so this needs to be done. Um, but yeah. It does say it's for oily combination skin, but I don't feel like it's drying me out or anything, so I'm fine to keep using this. Uh, then for my nighttime serum, I finally opened my Pericone MD High Potency Classics Firming Evening Repair. This is another product I got in a BoxyCharm pop-up for a really good price. Um, so it's very old though. I don't even think Pericone MD makes their products in these glass bottles anymore. I could be wrong. But this one, I feel like I have half of it left. This one I use three pumps at a time because it doesn't pump out a lot at once. And my skin likes it. So I don't know if it's firming, but... I'm using it anyway, and it is like a cream serum. It's not a liquid, so there's that. Oh, and then for nighttime, I'm also I'm using this as my daytime and my nighttime cream in the winter because I need a lot of moisturization. Um, and then for facial oil, I haven't been using this lately. Oh, it's because I had a little sample of the Sunday Riley Luna sleeping oil and that was already open so I wanted to use that one because it's old before going back to this so that's why I haven't used it I guess but this is the Garnier Bio Lavendin Smooth and Glow Facial Oil this was in my deck of panning I think last year and I had said like I put a goal I guess probably like 10 uses but, and then I said I would put it back because I had older things. Well, apparently, I thought I had a lot more facial oils than I do. The only one I had was that little mini one. So that's why I'm back to this. 
So yeah, after this one, I don't have any more facial oils. So I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> well, in the summer months, I probably won't feel like I need a facial oil. So anyway, this one is has this much use on it, but still a long ways to go. Oh, I skipped my eye cream. My nighttime eye cream is this little deluxe size of the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I really like this one. It's a very thick cream, um, but doesn't irritate my eyes or anything. And yeah, I'm liking this one. But I have so many eye creams. I keep getting eye creams in BoxyCharm. So after I use this up, I won't need to repurchase this or any other eye cream. And then just to mention my nighttime like lip mask, I always do a lip mask for nighttime. Well, even if it's not marketed as a mask, I just use like a thick lip balm at night. And I'm currently just trying to use up this um, deluxe size of the Laneige sleeping mask. That's how much I've used so far. I actually have another one of these in this size and I have the full size in the gummy bear flavor so I definitely do not need to buy any more of these or any more lip balms <laughs> in general. So yeah, just trying to use that one up. And that is everything, I think. So yeah, I think this video is probably long enough. Um, like I said, the next episode I think it's going to be an inventory because I really want to know like the numbers like how many toners do I have how many eye creams so that I know I should not buy anything <laughs> and yeah I think that will help me reduce my numbers because I still have tons of skincare and not a lot of room for it so yeah Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!